everyone, it's Mrs. Fisher and Mr. Blair here. We hope you had a great summer and we really look forward to welcoming you back to school. When you do return to school this week, things will look a little bit different. That time Mrs. Jones has asked us to do a little walkthrough of all of the differences that you might see when you do return. In the morning, you are allowed to access the school playground through gates 1, 2 or 3. Once you're in the school playground, you're going to want to find your classroom. All classrooms are clearly marked with a sign. However, if you're still not sure where you're meant to go, there will be members of staff in the playground to assist you. They will be wearing high-vis vests. Just remember to keep your two metres distance. Once at your classroom door, wait outside. When the bell goes, your new teacher will welcome you into your new classroom. You might notice that the classrooms do look a little bit different to how they would have done before. That's just to make sure that we can all be socially distant and for our own safety. When you get into the classroom, look for your seat, your table, which should be labelled clearly with your name. When you find your seat, take off your bag, take off your jacket and place them neatly on the back of your chair. You can then take off your outdoor shoes and place them again neatly under your desk, putting on your indoor shoes. Your teacher will then invite you to either use hand sanitizer or to wash your hands. There is a clear exit and a clear entrance to the classroom that you must make sure that you use. Each class have now got a designated sink, which is the only one that they are able to use. Movement around the school will be limited. However, there will be times where this is necessary. When moving around the school, you must make sure you're always keeping to the left of the cones in the corridor. One example of needing to move around the school will be when you need to go to the toilet. You must ensure that you tell your teacher you're needing to go as it's one child at a time and you must also ensure that you use the toilet that is designated to your class. When the bell goes at the end of the day, you will be dismissed safely by your teacher. One change for this year is that the exit points of the school are specific for each year group. For primary four to seven, you must exit by gate number four. For primary three, you must exit the school by gate three. For primary two, your exit gate is gate number two. And for the primary ones, your exit gate is, you guessed it, gate number one. Thank you for watching. We hope that you found that useful. It allowed you to see some of the changes that we've got in school uh, and maybe answered a few questions that you might have had. We look forward to welcoming you back to the